Some women are caught off guard when they hear that there's a link between menopause and the risk of developing type 2 diabetes. But hold up, let's not jump to conclusions or panic. This doesn't mean entering menopause is a sure ticket to type 2. It's just that hormonal changes in some women can lead to things like carrying more weight around the middle and higher blood pressure, both of which are risk factors for type 2 diabetes. So if you're curious about why this happens and want to know what to expect so you can protect yourself or loved ones going through menopause, then sit tight and keep watching because this is a complex topic. So we're going to try our best to make sure you leave with everything you need to know while making everything easy to understand. Here we go. Now, during menopause, our hormones can go a little haywire. These hormonal changes can mess with how our bodies use insulin. That's the hormone that helps regulate blood sugar levels. Insulin helps drive down your blood sugar by allowing your body's cells to take it in and use it as fuel. However, insulin tends to become less effective due to these hormonal changes. This leads to your body requiring more insulin to process sugar or glucose effectively. This is known as insulin resistance. And insulin resistance is essentially the early stages of type 2 diabetes. The insulin is working, but it's not working as well as it should. If it gets worse, the situation transforms into type 2 diabetes. Over time, the high blood sugar can cause damage to many of your organs. Possible long-term effects include damage to large and small blood vessels, potentially resulting in serious conditions like heart attacks, strokes, and complications related to the kidneys, eyes, gums, feet, and nerves. So what about women who already have diabetes before menopause? Well, diabetes can actually usher you into menopause ahead of schedule. Studies reveal that women with diabetes often encounter menopausal transition earlier. But this premature shift to the next stage of life isn't just about saying goodbye to your menstrual cycle sooner. It also speeds up changes in your body that can exasperate insulin resistance and complicate diabetes even further. Menopause symptoms may also amplify with diabetes. Number one is hot flashes. Yes, research confirms that women with diabetes experience more frequent and severe hot flashes. High blood sugar levels can cause blood vessels to dilate rapidly, an underlying cause of those hot flashes and night sweats that keep you up at night. Number 2. Weight Gain As estrogen levels decline during menopause, fat distribution in the body changes, often leading to increased belly fat. This weight gain can be particularly concerning for women with diabetes, as it can contribute to insulin resistance and make blood sugar management more challenging, leading to even more weight gain. Number three, mood swings. The combination of diabetes and menopause can create a perfect storm for mood swings. During menopause, hormonal fluctuations can wreak havoc on your emotions, causing mood swings and changes to your overall mood. This is due to the decrease in estrogen and progesterone levels, which can impact neurotransmitters that regulate your mood. Diabetes itself can have an impact on mood due to fluctuating blood sugar levels, which can lead to irritability, fatigue, and emotional instability. When menopause enters the picture, hormonal changes further contribute to mood swings. Number 4. Osteoporosis Maintaining bone health becomes even more crucial during menopause, especially for women with diabetes. As estrogen levels decrease, our bones may become weaker and more prone to fractures. This is because estrogen plays a significant role in keeping our bones strong and healthy. Diabetes also increases the risk of osteoporosis. High blood sugar levels can cause chronic inflammation which may speed up bone loss and slow down formation of new bone, making bones weaker and more susceptible to fractures. Diabetics also have low vitamin D, a nutrient needed for calcium absorption for healthy bones. Number five, cravings. Menopause and diabetes can both contribute to cravings and the need for a late night snack. During menopause, fluctuating estrogen levels can trigger cravings for sugary or high fat foods which can be challenging for those with diabetes. These cravings can be intensified by other symptoms like mood swings, fatigue, and poor sleep. Diabetes itself can also worsen cravings. 
Fluctuations in blood sugar levels can trigger feelings of hunger and cravings for quick sources of energy, such as sugary snacks. Additionally, certain diabetes medications can increase appetite and contribute to cravings. Number six, increased risk of health issues. During menopause, women who also have diabetes might have some extra health challenges. One biggie is the increased risk of developing cardiovascular disease, like heart disease and stroke. It's all due to the hormonal changes and fluctuations in blood sugar levels, as well as excessive weight gain that women experience. It's important for women to be aware of these potential health concerns and take steps to manage their diabetes and prioritize their overall well-being. So let's dive into some tips for managing menopause and diabetes together. Starting with maintaining stable blood sugar levels. Managing stable blood sugar levels is when you're dealing with both menopause and diabetes. Firstly, regularly monitoring your blood sugar levels to track glucose levels and prevent high and low blood sugar episodes. Next, be sure to adopt a balanced diet by focusing on nutrient-rich foods that have a low glycemic index that won't cause your blood sugars to shoot up. If you have diabetes, choosing nutrient-rich snacks high can help promote fullness without causing your blood sugar to rise too high. This doesn't mean you can't have tasty food, though. If you need a healthy snack, here are some great low-sugar examples. Hard-boiled eggs, yogurt with berries, almonds, hummus, avocado, apples with peanut butter, beef jerky, edamame, and so on. In fact, if you use insulin or other diabetes medications, it may actually be necessary to have a snack before going to bed. That's because low blood sugar levels can occur during the night, causing you to stay awake, so a snack helps keep the munchies away. By the way, some women may require medication, so check with your doctor if that is you. He or she may prescribe medications such as metformin or insulin therapy to help keep your blood sugar levels in check. It's also important to shed the excess pounds. Losing weight may seem like a daunting task, but it has numerous benefits. Shedding those extra pounds can help reduce the risk of complications associated with diabetes too. Start by making small changes to your lifestyle, such as incorporating more physical activity into your day, choosing nutrient-dense foods over processed ones, and practicing portion control. Aim for slow and steady weight loss, rather than quick fixes that are hard to maintain. Stay active. Physical activity aids in managing excess weight for women with menopause and diabetes, as it helps build lean muscle mass and manage insulin sensitivity. Muscle burns more calorie at rest than fat. By increasing your muscle mass through exercise, you boost your body's overall calorie burning capacity, even when you're not actively working out. Exercise helps improve insulin sensitivity, which means your body becomes more effective at using insulin to regulate blood sugar levels. This can lead to better blood sugar control and reduced reliance on medication. Lastly, have a chat about hormone therapy options with your doctor. It's important to have a conversation with your doctor about hormone therapy options if you have menopause and diabetes. Hormone therapy can help manage hormonal changes and ease symptoms such as hot flashes, night sweats, mood swings, and bone health issues. Your doctor will be able to assess your needs and guide you towards the most appropriate treatment plan. They should also discuss the potential benefit and risk associated with hormone therapy so you can make an informed decision for yourself. If you like this video, Click here to check out the real reasons hot flashes happen post-menopause.